Hello, hello. Let me see if I'm doing this right. Okay, I think I got it. Happy Thursday night. Happy Stamping Live. Okay, let me log on here and make sure I'm live and I'm working because I need to be able to look at your comments and questions while I'm stamping in case you have any. Oh my gosh, I feel like this thing is like right in my face. To back up a little bit here. Is this working? Oh yes, it is. Okay, great. Okay, I think I got it. I made it everybody, it's Thursday night. I've had quite a day. Whew. Got new tires put on my truck today and it uh, took me a little bit longer to get home after work than I thought. And I'm like rushing around to try to eat dinner so I can get here live for you guys. I have uh, been fighting a little bit of a chest cold. So I've got my trusty water here. I put some grapefruit oil in it because it tastes awesome. And um, I hope I don't take too many breaks to keep my throat hydrated. I see I have some people popping on here watching. When you come on, make sure to say hello. <clears throat> I love to um, interact with you guys. So plus remember there's prizes. If you share my video, you have a chance at a prize. If you like my video, if you comment and chat with me while I'm stamping, you've got a chance at a prize. I love to interact with you guys. So I have got uh, some really pretty projects to show you tonight. I haven't been in my stamp room for a while because I have been focusing on getting healthy and losing weight and I have lost 40 pounds, you guys. Awesome. But creativity is really important for our health as well, as you know. And so now that that's getting in line, I have picked up some stamping projects again. I have lots of stuff to choose from, as you can see here. And um, I like to share what I'm making with all of you. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I... Let's see, what was I going to talk about tonight? I don't even remember. Um, <clears throat> I've had a crazy week. I love rustic stamping, and tonight I'm featuring a card that would be great for a man card. That's what I hear the most, that people really struggle with making cards that are kind of gender neutral and can be used for a man. We have a lot of pretty flowers and pinks and purples and colors, and not that men don't like those colors, um, but a lot of stampers tell me they have a really hard time with those. So the card I'm featuring tonight would be great for that. I also have a prize to give away uh, right away. And when I flip you around, I have a new website, countrycardsbyrose.stampinup.net. And you will see that as I'm stamping. So for those of you who are new and don't know me, my name is Rose Grunwald. I have been... Paper crafting for a very long time. I started when I was in high school, so I won't tell you how long ago that was. I uh, started making scrapbooks with my mom, and about, I think, three or four years ago, I was introduced to the world of Stampin' Up! I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in New Holstein, Wisconsin, which is in the United States. Um, as you're popping on, again, make sure to say hello. All of your comments and likes and shares enter you to win a prize, which I will give away in my next live. I'll be going live Thursday nights at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Okay, I think I'm going to get started. I'm going to flip the camera around and um, hopefully my cord, I have a cord so that this thing doesn't um, go dark on me. Flip it around. Let's see here. How does that look? Centered? Can you guys see okay? Do I need to move this at all? No, I think we're good. I got the stamparatus. 
how is the lighting is okay do I need to adjust it let me know you guys if you can't see please say something if it looks okay please comment I think that looks okay on my sheet It looks pretty good. All right. Uh, the first thing I want to do is prizes. I had um, an advertisement to share my um, post that I'm going live. And uh, I had a few people do that. So here's the prize I'm giving away. A card that I made this week <clears throat> that would be wonderful for um, Thanksgiving or just a thank you card. A lot of people have been using the puff paint on these flowers. And I used instead because it was um, back ordered. I used the frost white shimmer paint. With a blender pen to color these in and it turned out beautiful this is the prize and the winner is carol yerkman carol thanks for sharing um i will get that off to you so <coughs> let's stamp huh tonight i'm using the stamparatus for those of you who have watched me um live before I haven't really used the Stamparatus all that often. You know what, guys? I have a light I can turn on that might help. Might make it a little brighter in here. Okay. Tonight we are using the Buffalo Check background stamp. And we are using the Mary Moose background stamp. I've got some die cut pieces here as well. We got some punches, but um, the Mary Moose stamp set is listed in the catalog as a bundle and it comes with this punch. I am so sorry to tell you that the punch is no longer available. It's sold out, <clears throat> but the good news is this mousse is super easy to fussy cut. So the card I'm showing you tonight that I'm going to make, you could definitely make without the punch. You could just fussy cut your stamped mousse and it would be all good. So let's get started. We are using Mossy Meadow. Let's... Okay, I've got a few pieces here. I'm trying to get everything situated. And this would be for the inside. I'm actually making two cards tonight and um, so I've got some pieces cut. This will go here. And we got some scraps. Okay. So, the first thing we are going to do is get stamping our background stamp. So, I've got a piece of Mossy Meadow that is my card base. This piece is cut four and a quarter, the short way, 11 inches, the long way. I've scored it at five and a half. Let me get a bone folder here. This is gonna be our card base. Now, 
I like to um, stamp the inside of my cards. So I'm going to do that right now and just get the inside out of the way. I've got a layer for the inside um, that is five by three and three quarters, which I will end up mounting on this basic black piece. So let me find my stamps. The first thing we're going to do is stamp some trees from our Mary Moose stamp set. This thing's adorable. You've got a raccoon here, a moose, a little scarf you can stamp on him, a couple of cute trees, some presents you could color in, a bulb, some snowflakes. Um, and then I really like these sentiments, happiest of holidays. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. This is my fairy for it. Merry Christmas. Um, enjoy the stillness of the season. So I love the font on those. Just awesome. And I'm going to stamp a tree here, a tree here. And I'm doing that in my Mossy Meadow ink. Let's get our moose stamped. This is solid. I'm using my Memento ink. I think we got her pretty good. Going to stamp my moose in black. And now the other cool thing about the stamp set is it's got these, uh, this stamp that looks like it's little footprints in the snow. The slits it would leave in the snow if it were walking along. So I'll get those stamped in there. And now we're going to put our sentiment on there. Let me find it. Some real red because we're going to be festive and because I'm doing kind of a wilderness scene here I'm going to be stamping my sentiment enjoy the stillness of the season beautiful what do you think if you like the stuff I'm stamping make sure to hit that like button or the love button or the laugh button let me know. Okay, we're going to mount this on a piece of basic black that's five and a quarter by four. And I like my liquid glue for that because I'm not very good at getting it centered. I don't know why my liquid glue isn't working. Let me try this other one I have here. There we go. All right. So I'm mounting that here. And then we are just going to glue that right onto the inside of our card. So just because the uh, this bundle is not available does not mean you can't get the stamp set. I checked earlier today. The stamp set is still available. And as you can see, I didn't even, this would make a beautiful front of a card, and I didn't even use the punch. So, <coughs> all right. <clears throat> Let me set my stuff aside and let's get ready to use our stamparatus okay now this stamparatus is pretty awesome I've already got my uh, stamp mounted here so all I did was I put it in the corner I closed my stamparatus on here I had a really hard time when I first used the Stamparatus with background stamps. 
I felt like it wasn't um, pushing down hard enough to get a good image. I wasn't using this foam mat because I thought I didn't need it with these cling stamps. But I found that you still couldn't can use the foam mat with the cling stamps and it gives you a nice crisp, much more crisp image. I've got a template going on a smaller piece of paper. So I've actually just got a half a piece of mossy metal here and I'm gonna stamp on it and then I will be die cutting it after it's stamped, okay? So I've got my um, Here's my magnet. Remember, if you're using both magnets, be really careful they don't touch. Some people have a really hard time getting them apart if they do come together. Have any of you used the Buffalo Check yet? It's like perfect for rustic -y looking cards, which is totally up my alley. We're inking this up. I might need to grab my other memento pad because I re-inked these and I think I put the wrong one on my shelf. I have three of them, so it's possible I did that. Yeah, this looks way better. Okay. Does it look clean? Hi, Robin. How are you? I haven't seen you forever. I hope you're doing good. Okay, now we're just closing our hinge on the Stamparatus. And soon you're going to see why I chose to do this on Stamparatus. Sometimes when we stamp, our images are not perfectly clean. And a background stamp can be really super difficult to try and line up. So, it doesn't matter when I've got it mounted on the Stamparatus because I just do it again. And I'm going to be really diligent here in pressing in the areas that did not get stamped well. And now you can see that it's totally filled in. I would like it a little bit darker yet. I really want a deep, rich, dark buffalo print here, buffalo plaid print. So all you have to do when you want that is just keep inking this up until you get it the tone and richness, crispness that you want. I don't like that I can see my paper through some of these solid prints because that's not how buffalo plaid is. All right. That looks awesome. Okay, that's the look I'm going for. Set this aside. Okay, we've got our buffalo plaid piece that we just stamped. And now I'm going to die cut it using the stitched rectangles die. This is the biggest rectangle that comes in the set. Uh, let's see here. <coughs> For my second card, I'm using the smaller one, but it's the big one that's around here. I always mount these on some magnetic sheets so that they don't flop all over. <coughs> Okay, now I'm just going to bring in my Big Shot. I'm using the uh, magnetic platform. So I'm going to do my best to center this up. Now, I am maybe a little bit more <laughs> diligent in my multiple... Uh, times through the big shot than some people are but there's nothing I hate more than an image 
that does not get die cut deeply. So I really make sure it's good. Let's see, how do we do? Oh, I'd say that's pretty darn good. Okay. Set my paper aside for scraps. Okay, I've got this piece cut and I took some time to measure this up for you because this layer is not quite as straightforward as our standard card front layers and I wanna mount it to a piece of basic black to really get it to pop. So as you can see, if I were to just put this right on my card, it, it looks fine, it looks beautiful. But when we mount that black on there, it really brings out that rustic vibe so that it really pops. And I like that extra layer. Now, I've got a measurement here. This black layer, again, it's not your standard size, five and a quarter by three and seven eighths. And that is a great size for the layer to just peek out around your buffalo plaid um, die cut piece. Okay. So use my liquid glue to glue that on there. That way I can move it around if I need to in order to get it centered. And people who have stamped with me before, like Robin at my stamp club, know that I always like a little ribbon or linen thread or burlap here on most of my cards. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm cutting a piece of linen thread. And of course I chose this because I think it goes really well with the rustic uh, theme of the card. And I'm just going to tie this in a bow, just like you would tie your shoes. Uh, when I'm using thin threads like the linen thread, whoops, oh my gosh, I like to tie it in a knot first. I just cannot get this centered, you guys. I like to tie it in a knot first to really kind of keep it secure there. Like so. Okay, and then I just tie it in my bow from there. And then all you have to do is adjust your tails and trim it. I'm going to trim it later after I get my other um, layers on there. I've got a scrap of mossy metal here that I'm going to use my stitch shapes, my circles framelit. And over here I'm just going to run this through the Big Shot. circle and now if you did not have the punch this is where you would stamp your mousse probably in black for what we're doing here uh, but I have a um, I have a the punch and so for those of you who do you can use it this way now, for those of you who have the punch, I am going, not in the middle, a little bit offset, but I am pushing this paper all the way into my punch, and you will see why 
after we are all done and I'm being very careful how I pull it out. I'm going to save this because we're going to need this. All right, so I've got my mousse. And somewhere around here, I have a scrap of real red. And we are going to use the happiest of holidays saying. on the front. Remember, I'm making a Christmas card, so I figured I had to have some red in here somewhere. And I'm just gonna run this through my classic label punch. Get those words centered as best I can and punch it out. All right, now we are ready to get this card put together. I'm going to glue my mousse down. I'm having him a little bit off centered. Oh my gosh, this is the one that doesn't work. Now, where did I put the one that does work? Here we go. It's going to be a little bit off. I'm not putting him right in the middle of my circle. I'm having him look like he's kind of walking onto it. And I've got my label here. And so that's just going to go right above my mousse. I'm putting just a little bit of glue on this one end. All right. Now we're ready to snip the ends of our bow. I want to keep that in place, so what I like to do is grab a glue dot and then I will usually just slide that underneath the knot of the bow. Like so. And then Get our layer popped up on dimensionals. And I'll do one in the middle to make it secured. What do you guys think so far? Are you loving it? How does this look for a man card? Awesome. I see some love coming. Thank you very much. I so appreciate it. That totally makes my night. Okay, I gotta attempt to get this straight. Hopefully you don't, uh, you aren't seeing my hair and all my gray hairs in there. Ha, I don't have very many right now because I just had it colored. Okay. And I wanna pop Mr. Moose up on dimensionals here too. So let's get a few of him. And then um, I'm putting a little mini dimensional on that tag that's off the end so that we can keep that nice and secured. I was biting my fingernails today and now they're too short to take off my darn dimensional backings. All right. <clears throat> we're getting him centered here. Make sure that we're lining everything up. And here we go. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think it turned out so pretty. 
This color is awesome. Let me get some of my stuff out of the way here so you can see it. What do you think of Mossy Meadow Buffalo Plaid? Everybody's using the red. And don't get me wrong, I love the red. But I wanted to try something different, something really rusticy. This is my favorite. The Buffalo Check is my favorite background stamp right now. And you know, if you wanted to, you could come in here with some sequins and bling it up a bit. What do you think? Should we add a few sequins? Maybe some of these neutrally ones. I can't remember what these are called. Something about neutral adhesive backed sequins. We got some white. What do you think? White. We've got these lighter green ones. Do we need some bling? Oh, here's some. These, yes, that would be perfect. I think these are Sahara Sand, if I remember right. What should we do? How about here? I always like to put my sequins on in odd numbers. I read an article somewhere that when you put embellishments on, you want them to be in odd numbers. So down here, over here, there we go. I love it. I think it turned out so cute. Now that is what I call a man card, but lots of women love it too. And as I mentioned, everybody is making their buffalo plaid in real red. And so I did that too. What do you think of this one? For this one, I just did a piece of black here and I um, heat embossed the happiest of holidays right on there. I used some burlap instead to rustic it up. I love them both. Don't you love them both? I think that the uh, dark colors are, are wonderful. So which one do you like better? You like the, um, what is it, Mossy Meadow or the Real Red? I think I'm partial to the Mossy Meadow. This is the one I started with, but I think I like this one better. Hi, Cindy from, where did you say? North Dakota. Oh my gosh. Are, do you have a ton of snow out there? We are getting snow like crazy, but I think that you had the snow long before we did. Okay, now, remember, we punched out that moose, and I said, don't throw it away. I'm going to show you a little trick with it, and so I am. As I was playing around to get ready for tonight, I made another card, of course. And I'm going to give you an idea to use here with your moose punch piece. Okay, I've got a normal card base here. We're working again in uh, Mossy Meadow. This piece is five and a half by eight and a half, and I fold it here at the four and a quarter line. Now, I am not going to make you sit through watching me stamp this like I did before. I already did it, and I already die cut it for you. And we've got our basic black layer. So let's get that all put together. I think that basic black. Oh, Sherry, you're in North Dakota. Welcome. We finally got a break from the snow and cold today here. And I took full advantage of it and went for a little walk on my lunch break around our um, parking lot at work. And people thought I was totally crazy for doing it. But, you know, when you live somewhere where it snows, you just have to get out and get that sun when you can. I am missing 
my vitamin D, that is for sure. Oh, it melted today. Going to be in the high 30s. Oh my gosh, 40s. Now we're talking normal November weather, right? Okay, I'm using my linen thread again. And I'm so excited for you guys to see how this card comes together. I'm going to tie this in a bow. <coughs> I'm losing my voice already. Uh, just like we did our last card. Just like you tie your shoes. Take the ends. I can't imagine the snow being gone. I do not remember the last time that we had snow, honestly, this early in November. And we must have because we've had, um, we've had snow for hunting season before, which is um, coming up here soon for us. I just do not remember it this early. Okay, so. <coughs> All right, we punched out our moose before. And I said, set it aside and save it. And I told you I was using this rectangle piece. And we're going to use it right now to cut out around our moose punch. So what we are doing is using the negative from our punch. for a card layer, okay? I want some of that black really solid showing up. I want this straight, so that's what I'm thinking of as I try to arrange this um, rectangle over the top of that punched out piece. The negative is what I call that from the punch. I'm running this through my Big Shot we know me, I like to get a little aggressive, as my husband says, B-E aggressive. I like to get a little aggressive with my um, cuts to make sure we get a nice die cut image. Okay, so here I have my negative from the punch die cut with my stitched rectangle again. I absolutely love the stitched rectangle um, stitch rectangle dies. I couldn't think of the word. Oh, crazy. It's a good thing that tomorrow is Friday. All right. Now, I need to move this because it's going to be in my way. Here we go. I tried to leave it a little bit loose so that if I had to pull it over to the side, I could, and, um, okay, that's what I'm doing here. Cindy, you shared with seven of your stamping friends. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. I love that. I totally appreciate it. All right, trim off the ends here. So here's where the magic happens, guys. I want to pull this linen thread down a little bit just so it can barely peek through the moose antlers. I tied this maybe a little too tight. So watch out for this. If you're going to recreate that card, watch out for that. Okay, I've got that there. And we are going to... Um, Pop this moose up on dimensionals so he's up over the top of that linen thread. And what's going to happen here, as you could see, we're going to get that buffalo check peeking through the moose negative from our punch. I tell you, when I saw that moose come out, I'm like... Oh, I have to do something with it. I didn't want to just use the punched out piece. And we all know how we like to make the best use of our scraps as stampers. So here I am. We're going to put this 
I'm trying to make sure that it's straight with my uh, buffalo check print because I don't I don't want it to look like I didn't stamp things on straight. We're also perfectionists, you know. <clears throat> okay, and because we are um, making a Christmas card, I wanted a little bit of red in here. And so I've got this scrap piece of red and I'm going to use my favorite sentiment. Let me see if I can find my darn thing. Here we go. We don't have a demonstrator, so we share videos. Oh, so cool, Cindy. That sounds like fun. Do you guys do it as a watch party or do you just share it with yourselves? That sounds like really fun that you have all those stamping friends. I tell you, when I first started stamping, I just found a wonderful group of women in my Uplines team that I didn't even know I needed friendships with and it's just been awesome. I always call stamping my creative therapy. Okay, we're stamping my favorite saying, Merry Christmas, super clever, kind of like a dad joke. And I'm just gonna trim this down a bit because I don't want this little scrap taking up my whole darn card. And I'm gonna cut the one end at an angle. And now we've got this adorable sentiment that I'm gonna pop up here. I don't know where my regular dimensionals went. Oh, here we go. I lose things pretty quickly, as you can see. My husband would probably uh, vouch for that. Actually, he's watching right now, so John could tell you himself that I'm a little bit scatterbrained and I lose all sorts of stuff. Okay. Here we go, Merry Christmas. Oh, so clever. We've got it put on there. Um, I've already popped up two layers here, so I think I'm just gonna glue um, this piece down because when we all know that when we go to the post office, they don't like too many of our layers. And I don't wanna make this card cost 10 bucks to send it out because postage is always going up too. Okay. So just a little tip for you guys. Um, if you've already put a bunch of layers up on dimensionals, you can open your card to kind of get that nice glued uh, layer to take. We should do the inside of this too. What do you think? Um, how about some trees again? I like trees. Let's do it in Mossy Meadow. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you for showing me the love. That makes me feel awesome. I love inspiring you guys with projects that you love. I'm going to stamp off here because that tree can be a little bit uh, dark. And of course I get ink all over my block. And then I will do one full strength. <clears throat> and let's take a new one we haven't used. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I like that one. I gotta clean all these stamps because I don't know where my chamois went. Oh, here it is. See, I lose things super easy. Oh, I know, Sherry, isn't it awesome? I kept seeing everybody um, stamping with their real red, which I love, don't get me wrong, but I was like, I want something a little more nature-y, and that's where I came up with the 
mossy meadow. Okay, let's uh, stamp our sentiment on here. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And I'm just going to put that at the bottom down here. Super easy. Leaves me lots of room to write a message. The other color that I think would be absolutely stunning with the buffalo plaid um, would be, or I guess it's called buffalo check, um, I think would be Mary Merlot. I think that would be a really nice rustic-y red. So for those of you who have the stamp and want to try something different than what all the other stampers are doing, maybe try out Mary Merlot. I think that would be really pretty. It's a really neutral, um, deep kind of burgundy tone, almost like a wine. That's probably why they called it Merlot. <laughs> Blueberry bushel, yes. Oh my gosh, that would be gorgeous. I agree, Cindy. Okay, we got our inside, very simple. Don't you think? Cherry cobbler. Oh, yes, cherry cobbler too. That's a bit deeper red than the real red. Real red is very bright. <clears throat> and I'm thinking, what, Blackberry Bliss? And of course for fall, crushed curry would be awesome and the new terracotta tile would be beautiful. Okay, you guys. Here is my shaded, no, not shaded spruce, mossy meadow. I was looking at the tree. Mossy Meadow version here using the negative from our punch. What do you think? Do you love it? And of course, as I was playing around, I also made it in real red. I cannot decide what one I like better. I think they are both beautiful. What do you think? Do you, do you have a preference? Now this one, I stamped the inside a lot like the um, other. So we've got our mossy meadow, our real red. I just love them all. I can't decide. So that's all I have for you tonight, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I have a new website, like I said, countrycardsbyrose.stampinup.net. If you click shop there, this is my host code, XVWVT2ZN. Uh, you can always pause it and jot it down. You're entered to win a prize by sharing, commenting, liking on my post. I will do the prize drawing next Thursday for um, the prizes from this week. And um, I'm be, I'll be going live at the same time. So 7 o'clock Central Time right here. Oh, you're so welcome, Cindy. I'm really glad that you all could join me. I had so much fun stamping with you. I've been super excited uh, to get going live again. And it's been great. So you all stay warm. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And I will see you right here next week. See you later.